walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Keith Thurman did an interview with PBC today, and he had all kinds of shit to say, talking all kinds of shit. You know, I kind of got the feeling that he might have been high off of some of that Tyson Fury. You never know, man. You don't know what these motherfuckers be on when they doing these interviews, talking this shit, talking all reckless and shit. This motherfucker done lost his motherfucking mind. You an inactive fighter. You only fight once a fucking year now. But Keith Thurman said, the only way to get real respect in the division is you have to fuck with me. I'm the number one welterweight champion. Even though there are four of us who can say that, I want the opportunity to eliminate the others. The interviewer said, what makes you so sure? You're the world's top 147 pound fighter. I made Diaz, Colazzo, and Chavez quit. Who else did that to all three of those Latin fighters? I also beat Guerrero and Sean Porter. I believe your voice one time is the most exciting of all the welterweights. Keith Thurman's statement. Keith Thurman is completely psychotic. Yeah, he's a great fighter. But you know, yeah, man, you used to fight all fucking over the hill Hispanic fighters. Don't think nobody forgot because you done got you a good win on your record and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you beat Sean Porter 7-5. to five. That was a good fight. I would like to see more from you, but you don't want to fight. Motherfucker talking about, yeah, man, you know, I've been fighting all my life. You know, I'd rather just sit back and reflect. No, get your ass back in the ring. Dude, fight your fucking mandatory. They asked him about his mandatory. He like, I don't know if I'm going to fight my mandatory or not. <laughs> I'm looking to make, you know, do bigger and bigger shit. Like, what the fuck? Dude, your mandatory is mandatory, which means you have to do it. The WBA had ordered that shit, man. And that's when he decided that he was going to sit out for the rest of the year. They said that he had 30 days to negotiate with David Avanessian. And, um, you know, or it's going to go to a purse bid or whatever. A week later, Keith Thurman said he need the rest of the year off so he can, you know, nurse his cut that he suffered in the Sean Porter fight. You know, and they're going to allow it. They allowed that. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say nothing about needing the whole fucking year. When did he fight? They fought in like June, right? You don't need that motherfucking long for a cut to heal. But that's what he said. They bought it. And if he want to fight somebody else in a bigger fight, they'll put David Avanesi on the back burner. I've been telling y'all, man, David Avanesi, you need to go ahead and fight Errol Spence. So Errol Spence can knock his ass out and become Keith Thurman's mandatory, which he might not even fight Errol Spence when he's the mandatory, but we'll see. But he'll have a lot of fucking pressure on him to fight Errol Spence. You know, Errol Spence is, is making some noise out here, man. Yeah, you 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 on top right now, but you ain't even capitalizing on shit. You you fight motherfucking Colazzo, and then you don't fight for like, you know, the time frame in between the Colazzo fight and the fucking Porter fight is like a year, right? Maybe eleven months. And then you say you're going to take the rest of the year off. We don't know if we're going to see you back in the rain early 2017 or even the summer. You know what I'm saying? That seemed like the only time you want to fight in the summer. I know I wouldn't really be wanting to train in the summer or the spring and then fight in the summer. I would want to get that shit out the way when it ain't nice outside. And then I just take the summer off. But that's Keith Thurman. What he like to do, man? He won't even come back and fight an uh, over-the-hill Hispanic fighter, man. But, you know, he do got some good wins on this record, man. You know, he um he beat Guerrero, Sean Porter. The Colazzo fight was a pretty nice win for me, for uh, him, you know, in my eyes. And um, the, the Chavez victory was definitely impressive because, you know, both of those fighters was undefeated. You know, and um, Keith Thurman lost like the first four rounds of that fight with the Chavez fight. Yeah. You know, and um, from body shots, that was the beginning of his exposure to the body. Then he got hurt to the body with Colossal. He got hurt in the body in a, in a fucking Porter fight. He don't want to admit it. He don't want these motherfuckers going into these fights gunning for his body. But it's going to happen. You know, motherfuckers already know about you. You know, I mean, it ain't really his fault. It ain't like he don't train. It's just his frame. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker got a glass body just like Amir Khan got a glass jaw. I think that that would be a great fight. You know, and um, Amir Khan did drop Maidana with a body shot. You know, so, um, and Amir Khan got that shaky chin. So I think that'd be a good fight. Amir Khan is really quick, too. I just, this is Amir Khan don't want to fight nobody. Keith Thurman want to make that fight. Oh, yeah, he'll fight Amir Khan. 
don't want to fight Earl Spence. He used to call out everybody, man, until Earl Spence came around and then he got quiet. You know, and then he started, you know, being a businessman and shouldn't be in political like everybody else. Before, he used to talk all of that shit. He did show some heart and made the, the Sean Porter fight. He don't talk as reckless as he used to, but as you see, he do still talk a little crazy. The only way to get real respect in the division is you have to fuck with me. I only Keith Thurman to say some retarded shit like that, man. But Keith Thurman, he disappeared. Don't nobody hear from him. You know what I'm saying? He makes some goofy updates on social media. And then don't nobody even know what the fuck he up to. You know, somewhere sitting in the grass playing a flute or somewhere playing a piano or some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? When you really should be in the gym. You know, if not fighting, then training fighters. You know, it's just like he probably ain't even working out. He looked fat as fuck and out of shape. You know, at the beginning of the training camp for Sean Porter. He don't really live the fighter lifestyle. I don't think so. I think if he got a fight, he trained. Other than that, then he's going to drink beer. He's going to do whatever the fuck he want to do, pretty much. Eat triple cheeseburgers with bacon on it. All that shit. He better not grow out of the 147-pound division, man. Because this motherfucker is short. He's 5'7". And a half. You got to give him that. And a half. You know, sooner or later, they'd be saying he's 5'8". I remember one time on PBC, they tried to say he was 5'9". Like, oh, come on, y'all stretching it too much. Motherfucker looked tiny in the ring. Little, little small motherfucker with some braids and shit. But, you know, I would like to see Keith Thurman get more active, man. You know what I'm saying? I know Danny Garcia, he's not really too excited to fight you. Amir Khan, not too excited to fight you. Now, if Errol Spence get that IBF title... You talking about you want the opportunity to eliminate the others, the other champions. You know, Kell Brook isn't available right now. He got his eye broke and he might not come to 147. WBO belongs to Jesse Vargas, Manny Pacquiao, and Top Rank. And those motherfuckers, Top Rank is real strategic. Keith Thurman called out motherfucking um, Pacquiao. Pacquiao didn't want to do it. Bobby Brown got pissed off he called him out. So if, if Manny Pacquiao beat Jesse Vargas, he's not going to fight Keith Thurman. He'd already ducked that fight. The motherfucker Pacquiao didn't say shit and Bob Arum got pissed off. Yeah, he don't want motherfuckers to know that he's his fighters ducking fighters. But I already know he's ducking fighters. Pacquiao is. So you can't fight for the IBF. You can't fight for the WBO. You can't fight for the IBF yet. Can't fight for the WBO. Can't fight for the WBC because Danny Garcia don't want to fight you. Now, Errol Spence will fight you. When you get the IBF, he'll fight you. But will you make that fight? Errol Spence is a devastating body puncher, man. You know, and Keith Thurman is weak to the body. Everybody know this shit. But, you know, Keith Thurman does have, you know, attributes and shit. He is quick. He is strong. He's a good counter puncher. He has good footwork. And who knows? He could make Errol Spence look like an amateur. You know, Errol Spence is powerful. He can cut off the ring. But still, I mean, it's you never know, man. You know, Errol Spence is looking good against the fighters that he's fighting. But he hasn't fought anybody on the level of Keith Thurman. So you don't know how it's going to play out. But that motherfucker weak to the body, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Errol Spence hit that motherfucker a couple times to the body. It's going to hurt. Damn. I just had a picture in my head flashed back. Of Keith Thurman running around the ring after getting hurt to the body in a Colazzo fight. Props to him for staying up. But man, Errol Spence ain't going to let you off the hook. So I think that's the closest he's going to be able to get to eliminating the other champions. But will he take the fight? You already ducked the fight before. You, you matter of fact, Floyd Mayweather was going to vacate one of his titles and let you fight Errol Spence for one of his titles. You could have got probably the WBO title because he ended up just giving that shit up. You probably you could have been the WBA champion and the WBO champion. But you didn't want to fight Errol Spence. Then why? Because, oh, he's green. He needs to work himself up. He needs to fight more B-level fighters. But fuck him. Get the belt and get a Floyd payday without even fighting Floyd. If you fought Floyd, you're going to get outboxed. So why the fuck you want to fight Floyd? Fight Spence. Fight this prospect and get a belt and the same money that you would have got for fighting Floyd. But no, nah, you ain't want to do that shit. You ain't want to eliminate the, the others and shit. You know, it was, it was some fuck shit for Floyd. to because um, Errol Spence was pretty much Floyd's mandatory, the regular champion trying to fight the super champion, right? And um, 
<laughs> Floyd is like, look, man, you can't fight me, but you can fight somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna have somebody else fight your mandatory? But hey, Floyd is on that level. He could have did it. And he could have gave up one of those, any one of those belts. They would have allowed that shit, man. You know, Errol Spence, I mean, he's coming up. He's endorsed by Floyd. But Floyd has given so much of his life to the sport of boxing and has achieved so much. The sanctioned bodies would have looked out for him. And Keith Thurman is a top fighter. They would allow him to fight for a title of his choice, maybe. You know, for Errol Spence, but he didn't want to do it. Sooner or later, y'all motherfuckers going to bump heads. So you might as well just go ahead and... I mean, just let Errol Spence get the belt. I want to see if he's going to fight. That's, that's going to be a hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. Like I said, man, it's not lopsided in either way. You know, it's not a short thing. I know Errol Spence is looking good, but all it takes is one questionable performance by Errol Spence, and then people are going to say Keith Thurman would beat him easy. I already know how it works. That's why they say you're only as good as your last fight. Errol Spence fuck around. Let's say if the Kell Brook fight get made. Errol Spence win a close decision, but he get rocked and wobbled a couple times in that fight. Or maybe even, you know, have to, uh, you know, take a knee or some shit or go down once, even though he win. Then people would be like, Keith Thurman would beat him easy. So, you know, that fight isn't one-sided in Errol Spence favor. And um, Keith Thurman definitely got the experience advantage. He probably has the speed advantage, foot speed advantage. He's a better counter puncher. But Spence is... Um, Spence is really good at cutting off the ring, and he's stronger. That's going to be a hell of a fight, man. You know, I hope they could build that fight up, make it pay-per-view, make it like a really, really big fight. You know, um, PBC is experiencing some changes right now. I don't know if those fighters going to go back to Showtime or not, but if they do, that will open the door for Showtime pay-per-view for some of these really big fights. So, you know, hopefully... When the time come around, I know we still got some time. Errol Spence got to get that belt. Keith Thurman, you're going to keep hearing about Errol Spence until you fight him. Now, okay, it's okay for you to not fight him right now, right? He's still, yeah, he didn't went from prospect to contender. He's about to be a champion sooner or later if Kell Brook stopped bullshitting. But, you know, you're going to keep hearing about Errol Spence until that fight happens. Danny Garcia don't want to fight you, okay? You're not going to fight for the top-ranked title, the WBO title. It's not going to It's not going to happen. You can get that IBF title, though, but will you take it? I'm Travis Gotti. Thanks for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fuck with you. I got a good fuck with you.